Welcome to Detour 2020, produced by Udefine Wellness. I'm Denise O'Malley and the founder of the, our company. Detour 2020 is a free online webinar series to deliver information to help you cope with the unprecedented time that we live in with COVID-19. Topics will range from supporting your immune system, relationships, stress, finances, and more. Our guest speaker today will be Tracy Frank, a specialist in essential oil support, and our topic will be about using essential oils for stress relief and boosting the immune system. Now, let me be clear that our purpose is not to provide medical advice, but rather to help and support you during this time. It is your job as the participant to evaluate the information we discuss and determine if it is appropriate for you. And we encourage you to consult with your own healthcare providers before changing or adding any thoughts that we discussed today. I myself have no medical training. I am a reformed insurance agent and one who has had to find my own path to healthy living. My role here is to be a conduit of information and to introduce you to the people that I know. So please help me welcome Tracy Frank. Hi, Tracy. Hello. Thank you. We are so glad to have you um, on this recording uh, for the essential oils. I don't think that of all the hundred videos that we've done, that we've done one on essential oils. So I'm really excited about that. But this is your show, so I'm going to turn it over to you. Where would you like to start? Um, is it possible for me to share my screen here? Yes, you can. That little green button like at the bottom that says share. There you go. All right. Oh. Hello, everyone. I hope everyone's doing well in all of the changes that have come through and um, new realities to our lives uh, recently. I'll do a little introduction of myself. Um, again, my name is Tracy Frank, and um, I, my beginning career was in education. So I was a math teacher and still work supporting math teachers. But my passion and joy comes from um, essential oils and uh, sharing about essential oils. So I'm just really thankful to be here today to share about this. This is a picture of me um, when I was able to attend a harvest of essential oils and learn all about the process from harvesting all the way to bottling the oil. So um, I also am not a medical professional. I'm not going to give any medical advice today. There, I will give the resources and um, uh, that I use. I'll share what those resources are. Um, but this has really just become a gift in my life over time. Um, probably over the last four years has really been when I've been exploring it and getting deeper and deeper in all the time. Um, and I'm just really thrilled to be sharing today. We have been using our oils we use them all winter long uh, for immune support, but really using them a ton lately. So feel free to jump in with questions at any time. Um, this is kind of my plan to just talk about, you know, what are essential oils? Um, are all oils created equal? And then we'll talk a little bit about oils and techniques that may support stress relief and mental health, because we know that's really a huge part of what's going on for everyone right now is what's next and uh, when will this end and um, all of those questions. And then also um, oils and techniques that may support the immune system. And then we'll have time for questions at the end, but like I said, um, feel free to jump in with questions at any point. Fantastic. So what are essential oils and are all essential oils created equal? Um, so essential oils are uh, oils diffused from plants and they can be diffused from uh, different parts of the plants. Um, I was the harvest that I was a part of we were harvesting um, uh, grand fir trees and so it was actually the tops of the trees the needles and the um, wood chips of the trees themselves that uh, was used to in a steam distiller to um, through the steam the oil comes out of the plant and then uh, there's a condensing process and a separating process between the water and the, um, and the oil, the essential oil. So essential oils can be from plants, they can be from flowers or um, roots of plants or leaves. Um, so lots of different <clears throat> sources of nature. And are all, uh, and essential oils have been used obviously for 
for since the, they're re referenced in the Bible. You know, we hear about frankincense in the Bible, and uh, and many of cultures still today use oils in terms of healing and uh, health support. And then there were um, certain times in history when the French, the English, the Germans um, used oils and kind of you know made it a big part of their um, of their knowledge as well. So the one question I think that I'd like to uh, address here, and Denise, you brought it up too to me in a conversation recently, is are all essential oils created <laughs> equal? Um, and unfortunately, there is no regulation in the oil industry. And so people can say they have pure essential oils. Um, they can say they have organic essential oils, and it doesn't necessarily mean anything. Um, so uh, a, tr a trusted source would be a source where they have farms that you can visit, and so they allow, allow their process to be transparent. And then also a source um, where they do third-party testing for purity, um, and you know can show you those results of, of third-party testing. So a trusted source that I use is Young Living Essential Oils, and um, that you know is a company that I'm part of and have learned through them. Um, well, let me interject here. So one of the things that I'm, you're saying, and I just kind of want to underscore it here, is don't put it on your shopping list along with diapers, tires, bananas, and, you know, cold cream, is get it from a, a, a reliable source. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. One way to really tell if it's a reliable source is, is the price the same for any oil. <laughs> um, <laughs> Because if the price is the same for no matter what oil, that that means that you know they're not. Each oil has a different process of how um, how it's handled and and should be handled in, in order to get the the purity of the oil. So um, yes, definitely don't buy your oils at um, the big box stores, grocery stores. Um, there are only a few uh, sources that do third party testing. So mm -hmm. yeah, other questions. No, go ahead. All right. Okay, so one of the things I wanted to talk about is just oils and techniques that may support stress relief and mental health right now. Um, you know, I myself have been doing this constantly. I woke up in the middle of, last, of the night last night with some anxiety and, um, <laughs> and just there's so much going on. There's so many changes um, with the virus affecting, um, you know, our daily lives. And so that stress that's creeping in, what are some things that we can do to support our bodies, to let go of some of the stress and to, um, to move forward in a positive way. And that's really, it's really important for lots of reasons. So some of the, so the book that I'm gonna reference is called The Essential Oils Desk Reference. I'm holding it up there. Mm -hmm. And this is put together by Life Science Publishing. And so if you look under stress or anxiety, these are some of the oils that they list. There's some on there I have not heard of before. I know I've used lavender, chamomile, lang lang, orange, and I hadn't heard of clary sage, but I've used sage before. There's, that's an interesting list. Mm -hmm. And, and oils are interesting because there's no one oil that is, um, produces the same type of response from every person. Mm -hmm. um, and so it, part of oiling is testing out what works for you and what, um, how your body responds. Mm -hmm. uh, for example, lavender doesn't automatically calm me. Like some people say lavender calms them as soon as they get a whiff of right. it. Um, orange calms me. Oh. And uh, those, those are kind of the two main ones that people should test, mm -hmm. whether they're more of a, of a floral person or more of a, a citrus person. Mm -hmm. um, and so I've done that even with my kids, you know, are they more of a lavender or an orange? Mm -hmm. um, and I do that when I uh, work with individuals in terms of um, helping them to choose different oils for themselves. Mm -hmm. So lavender, um, However, lavender mixed with other things is really successful for me. So I do a mix of um, lavender and frankincense. Frankincense is very calming to me. Mm -hmm. And stress away. 
And this mix um, is, my, is my favorite. I carry it around in a perfume bottle and uh, spray it just whenever I need to take the edge off. Um, and I'll come back to this in just a second. But the Stress Away is a blend. So Young Living has blends. Um, you know, you were mentioning, Denise, before we got on about using doTERRA. That's another um, company that has blends. But the Stress Away blend is, is absolutely one of my favorites. It's lime, um, vanilla, um, okatea, and um, I think that's it. So, uh, and the, the Stress Away one is one that I will use by itself. Just put a roller bottle on it and, you know, roll it on behind my ears, on my wrists, just breathe it in deeply at any time. Um, and so then there's some other blends here listed. Peace and Calming is another one of my favorites. Valor mm -hmm. is one that's kind of for strength and courage to get through hard times. Um, the Believe Oil is kind of woodsy. Uh, White Angelica is used kind of to let go of other issues or concerns or other people's weight that you're carrying. Mm -hmm. um, so they all, they all can serve different purposes at different times. And there's a variety of ways to use them. I just want to share this quick story that when I was um, pregnant with my first child, who's now 23, so this was a long time ago, um, I had, um, well, typical pregnancy, aches, pains, anxiety, first child, things like that. And my husband would put a drop or two of lavender on a cotton ball and slip it into my pillowcase. And I wouldn't know it until I was laying there and all of a sudden I could smell it. And it's amazing how the stress would just kind of go away. It, it, it is fantastic. Mm -hmm. Yes. So um, breathing in the oils aromatically um, and you can make your own little diffuser with cotton ball, Kleenex, um, or actually have a, a diffuser um, going. Uh, yes, having the oils, putting the oils on topically. Um, and there's different opinions out there about using the oils internally. Mm -hmm. I do use some of them internally. I did put frankincense in my, um, my morning drink this morning. Um, mm. uh, frank frankincense actually is, falls in the category of both things I'm talking about today. Both uh, may support stress relief, but also um, may uh, support your immune system as well. Mm. So um, yes, Good so in inflammation. Uh, frankincense is kind of, it's, um, it's probably one of my favorites, not just because of the, the smell. I mean, the smell I like, it's very earthy, um, but I'm, I'm not in love with the smell as much as I am the, the reality you can use this for anything. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so when I leave home, I take frankincense with me. Oh, wow. <laughs> yeah. So the aroma freedom technique, oops, that I'm going to talk about quickly here, um, is th those three oils that I showed you earlier, the stress away, lavender, and frankincense, um, is used, was, this was developed by Dr. Um, Perkins, and it's called the Aroma Freedom Technique, and it's used in a variety of different techniques that I have been trained in and am certified in. And one of those is um, the memory release, um, or sorry, the Aroma Reset Technique. And I won't run through it, through it because you don't have um, the oils with you, but if, if there's anyone out there that has these oils and wants to ever run through this, um, it's just a really easy technique with a few questions. You get you know, a picture in your mind and emotion in your mind, and, and then you breathe in these three oils. And it, literally everyone I've done it with to date, and you know, it may not work for everyone, but everyone I've done it with to date just feels a softening of whatever's on their shoulders. It doesn't mean your, your anxiety you know, completely disappears or you never worry again. It just helps kind of soften things. All so, right. yeah. Any questions about using? Nope, oils? you're covering a lot. Okay. We'll move forward and talk about oils and techniques that may support the immune system. Um, so Thieves. So Thieves is a blend of oils. It's a blend of clove, lemon, cinnamon bark, eucalyptus radiata, and rosemary. Okay. And I'm going to read from the um, desk reference, the essential oil desk reference by Life Science Publishing. 
This most amazing blend of highly antiviral, antiseptic, antibacterial, and anti-infectious essential oils. It was created from research based on legends of a group of 15th century thieves who rubbed oils on themselves to avoid contacting the plague, contracting the plague, while they robbed the bodies of the dead and dying. When apprehended, the thieves were forced to tell what their secret was and disclose the formula of the herbs, spices, and oils they used to protect themselves in exchange for more lenient punishment. Mm. Yeah. So there's been lots of studies on thieves um, oil over the, um, you know, there's one reference here about just diffusing ten, uh, thieves for 10 minutes. There were three, a reduction in three different biological aerosols in the atmosphere. So just the, the benefits of this, the combination of this, these oils. Um, and so how we use thieves is we, we actually start in August. We put thieves in the bottom of our feet in August mm. and pretty much every other night from August until, um, you know, April <laughs> or until the sun's shining on a regular basis. And we're, we know that kind of the yuck and the, you know, colds and flu seasons are, are subsiding. So we use this to support our immune system um, all winter long. Um, fall, winter, spring, actually. So I want to interrupt you. I've heard, I have not tried thieves. I have heard, I know a lot of people who swear by it. I'm going to have to get me some. We'll have to talk about it. Um, and, but that's interesting that you say to put it on the bottom of your foot. So you just put like a drop or two and rub it in every day on the bottom of your foot. Yeah. So the bottom of your feet actually have the largest pores in your body. Oh, okay. Yeah, so to get, um, and your, the bottom of your feet are not sensitive. Usually you won't break out if you put it on the bottom of your feet. Mm -hmm. Thieves uh, has cinnamon in it, which is um, a, kind of a spicy oil, they would say. Right. And so if you put that on um, your wrists, you might break out mm -hmm. if you put it on directly. But putting it on the bottom of your feet, usually, unless you're using with children, I would dilute. But mm -hmm. usually you don't have to dilute um, for an adult putting on the bottom of your feet. And so you don't have to dilute, you get it straight, you have bigger pores, so it goes into your uh, bloodstream and to your organs quicker. Hmm. Good yeah. to know. Yeah. Great tip. Yeah. Um, and so uh, we diffuse thieves a lot. Mm -hmm. um, and then, yeah, we also use a roller bottle with thieves and some sort of carrier oil. Um, I use this V6 carrier oil from Young Living. It's a mix of different um, oils, but you can use olive oil, coconut oil, um, fractionated coconut oil, so it's liquid. And then put it in a roller, ball, roller bottle and then rub it on your spine. Hmm. Your spine is a great place to put oils to support your immune system. Right. Excellent yeah. place. Um, and, and also on the bottom of your feet, you can put it on the reflexology parts that, that hmm. correspond to your spine. You know, so the, the um, Vitaflex points or reflexology of the bottom of your feet corresponds to different parts in your body. Mm -hmm. So those charts um, can be a really good source of deciding, okay, I want support for my lungs. Where do I put that on the bottom of my feet or my sinuses? Mm -hmm. And um, looking at those charts, there's many different charts out there um, that I can always send to people too if that's something they're looking for. Um, shows you, you know, what parts of your body correspond to certain parts on your feet. And there's also um, charts for your hand. And massaging that oil into that spot um, can support that. Um, but yeah, putting, getting thieves right on, the, on your spine is also a great support. So there's a double benefit in this and that you obviously can't put it on yourself, on your spine very easily, unless you're a contortion artist. My husband's a massage therapist and he uses essential oils sometimes in his massages and puts it in the oils that he uses. And one of the things that he started noticing, um, and he does it also with CBD oil products, but one of the things he started noticing is that he was seeing changes in his own body, partially mm -hmm. because it's, he's absorbing it through his hands as he's um, massaging it in. So it's a double benefit for both, and you're ca covering all those uh, points on your hand that were, it would go through. So it's a, that's a really good idea, too. Yes, yes. Love it. So, and then uh, we won't get into it too much, but there's Thieves Cleaner. Mm -hmm. um, and the, the cleaner um, 
also, you know, we use it for everything. It's a general purpose concentrate cleaner and you can dilute for cleaning everything. Um, but like, you know, shower spray, um, bathroom cleaning, everything. And so you also get the benefit as you're cleaning of the immune system support, um, mm -hmm. hand soap, dish soap. Um, and, you know, and you're not, because a lot of our cleaning products have mm -hmm. things in them that are toxic to our lungs. And mm -hmm. so we're actually weakening our um, yeah. immune system or we're weakening our immune system as we use those products. We think we're cleaning with Lysol and getting the best, you know, um, best killer we can of germs. And while that's true, we may be in, you know, uh, harming mm -hmm. parts of our body too through that. Yeah. So something to consider. So a question for you on um, the thieves oil. I know with competitive essential oil companies, they are out uh, or on back order for these type of comparable products. Is Young Living having the same issue? They have upped their production of Thieves okay. products. The one thing, um, I just ordered Thieves Cleaner and Thieves Oil yesterday. Okay. So um, shipping is, is slower a little bit right now for sure. Mm -hmm. um, uh, hand sanitizer mm -hmm. was one thing, their large size of hand sanitizer. They, they, they were able to produce it, but didn't have the bottles. So they're repurposing okay. and putting them in different bottles and getting it out as soon as possible. Okay. But no, every other thing so far um, has been has been available, just a slower processing time. Okay, awesome, glad to hear that. Yeah. Um, the other thing that I won't get into today, um, it's a whole separate uh, conversation, is um, using oils of a raindrop technique. Mm -hmm. And those are oils like basil, thyme, um, ro uh, rosemary, oregano. They're sort of your, um, your traditional herbs that you cook with. Um, and those oils are all really supportive as well. You do that, you do a traditional raindrop technique is done on your spine, but you can also do raindrop on your feet. Um, and those are very helpful to support the immune system at this time. Oregano is one that we we kick into gear as soon as someone has any symptoms. We use a lot of oregano, thyme, rosemary, those types of oils. So how, go ahead. Um, do you have a website? I have a Facebook group. Oh, okay. And what is that Facebook group? It's called Essential Oil Support. <laughs> it's not a very um, Creative name. I might need your help in that area, Denise. You're good at that. <laughs> um, so yeah, and it's you have to. It's a closed group, so you have to ask to be invited. Okay. Um, it should show my picture if you search for it. But um, yeah, I share lots of resources on there. And I'm really, for it. what's that? I'm gonna find it. Okay. <laughs> Um, and really for immune system, there are many oils that are um, supportive, and this is just kind of our go-to. So I kind of started here. Um, and then there's other oils that people use for support once they have certain symptoms. So for fever, we use peppermint support, you know, to support, um, you know, so once you get a symptom, any kind of respiratory sinus, um, we use an oil called Raven Sara and a blend called Raven, um, lots of eucalyptus oils. So there's always sort of different recommendations, you know, based on different symptoms too. Um, and all of that is coming from the same book, the, the desk um, reference from Life Science. Okay, you're going to have to help me find your, because <laughs> I'm not finding it. So and I want to pull it up so that everybody can see it. Yeah, so essential oil support. You should be able to search for it because it's well, not a... There's a lot of essential oil support Facebook pages. And it doesn't show a picture? Well, it does, but not yours. There should be a picture that looks exactly like this. <laughs> this is the picture I have on the front page. Um, I'm, I'll keep, I'll keep, look, ah, I'm not sure, regular page. 
That's been on my list, Denise, Denise, to come up with a new name. So I was serious about getting your input. <laughs> I don't have I don't have an official name. I just, you know, as soon as I started loving everything about oils, I just thought I want to support others. And so mm -hmm. uh, created a Facebook page. Well, so. we will work on that. And unfortunately, I cannot find it. So okay. I'm going to tell everyone that I, I will show a way for everyone to reach out to you um, before we get off this call. Um, I'll work on getting it set up. So what else would you like to add? We're getting close to the, our end here. Um, I think, you know, I guess just in summary that, you know, oils can be a huge support in lots of different ways. Um, I can just open a bottle of lemon and feel sunshine. <laughs> Especially today it's raining here, so I, I plan to do that. Um, open a bottle of lemon and, and feel some sunshine. So they can be such an emotional support for people and also, you know, the research behind them and the historical uses for immune support are um, something that I truly have experienced. Um, the year before we started with essential oils, there were three of us in the house that went through antibiotics and uh, one of my kids went through two rounds. We kept getting those secondary infections that last forever. And I just was at the, you know, I was at the end of my rope. We were already doing kind of non-toxic um, products in our house, but I wasn't really introduced to oils much at that point. And so then when I got introduced to them and learned that, um, you know, there was support for immune system and I started with the thieves that, that next fall and we haven't, you know, it doesn't mean it can't happen because it's not a guarantee, but, you know, since then we have not had um, any antibiotics or any uh, secondary infections or any colds that really last more than a few days. Oh um, and so nothing that really even puts us out of work and, you know, that just really makes a big difference in our lives, our daily lives and yeah. is very important to me um, of what I'm putting in my body, what I'm putting on my body. And so I've really taken the time to, to research, you know, what, what is pure and, yeah. um, and to do what I think is best for my family. It's ever changing. My knowledge is ever growing. I'm not an expert um, on everything essential oils, but I love learning. So. And you know, it's such a simple thing to do. I think it's overwhelming for some when they see all these different things, they don't know what to do with it. That's why it's important to talk to someone who either knows the answers or knows how to get the answers. And that's, it's critical. You know, I want to ask, uh, we, our friend Patricia Huggett is on this call as well. Patricia, do you have any questions of, that you want to ask of Tracy? Well, I was kind of interested in the raindrop method. Can you explain that a little bit more? Yeah. So, um, the raindrop was developed by Gary Young, the founder of, I'm going to look it up here in this book to give you a few more details. Um, the founder of Young Living. And it involves lots of different practices. One of them is called feathering oils, which is kind of a light touch of oils. You, you put the oils on, um, you start with a carrier oil because all the oils you use are very strong oils. So you start with a carrier oil on someone's back and then you put drops of the oils on along the spine and you do a, a strategy called feathering, um, which has historical um, beginnings in the Native American population of uh, feathering oils um, along your back and it's all of it is a very light touch and then there's um, the touch of your fingers where you kind of hit your pad of your fingers and then your nail of your fingers and then the tip of your fingers you kind of roll them and you do that process uh, up and down the spine with each of the oils and some of the um, oils you do there's, there's different steps. So some of the oils you do on the sides of the spine and some are right down the middle of the spine. Um, so what other, I'll look and see if there's something else here that I wanna say. Yeah, so it's oregano, thyme, basil, cypress, wintergreen, marjoram, and peppermint. So you're gonna smell like a little bit like Christmas and Thanksgiving combined. Exactly, like a pizza, <laughs> like an Italian <laughs> restaurant, yes. And then you use Valor, which is um, a blend of oils by Young Living um, 
the Roman soldiers actually used a similar blend before they put their soldiers into battle for courage and strength. And that is actually a, a very grounding and emotionally uh, balancing oil. And so to balance your energy, you, you start with valor um, and sometimes end with it as well. So, yeah, the oils are just, so the why it's called a raindrop is the oils are dispensed like drops of rain from about a height of six inches about the, above the back, starting from the low back and then um, going up. And then, like I said, you do the feathering and then the, um, the Vitaflex technique with the fingers. Does that help, Patricia? Yeah, it doesn't sound like something I can do to myself. <laughs> no, um, you, you can do it on your own feet. Will there be an opportunity for me to add um, on the Facebook when this is done, I'll be able to add links on the yeah, comments. Right? You can do whatever you want with it. Absolutely. Okay. Either in the comments on my posts or forwarded and put your own comments in. Uh, but if you put them on the comments on my posts, it's on the master. So, okay. yeah. I do have a picture of the raindrop technique, um, how to do it on your feet. Okay. And I can include that. Um, okay. I thought about putting it in the slides and I didn't, but um, I can include that in a comment so that you can see it. So I do it on my own feet. <laughs> okay, awesome. So what I wanna do now is I wanna show everyone how they can get in touch with Tracy. Okay, I am discontinuing your screen sharing and That's taking fine. over. I didn't realize it was still going. Okay, so forgive the fact that you see my editing parts on my website. This is the You Define Wellness website. You can go to you, as in Y-O-U, definewellness.com. Go to the provider directory and search for essential oil support by Tracy Frank. You know what? You can just put in Tracy or Frank in the primary contact, and either way, she's going to come up. There is a link there to her Facebook page. So all you have to do is click on it, and it'll take you, to, take you over. But you know what, if you wanted to reach out to her, you could also scroll down to the bottom, there'll be a place where you would be able to send her a message and it will actually go straight to her. So, and I don't know if you knew that you could, we, uh, people could do that, Tracy, on our website. No, that's great. So when you go over, here is what the page is going to look like and you're gonna do like I do, and I just sent a join um, group request. So uh, rather than try to rattle off the numbers and I was having difficult time because there are several people who do use the words essential oil support, um, that this is the way to get directly to the right person to be able to connect with Tracy. So fantastic. Any last thoughts? I don't think so. Okay, have you dumbfounded? <laughs> Happy oiling, everyone. Who yeah, you know? Happy you know, and I have to say right now, um, I'm you probably if you've seen my picture on the screen, you've seen me coughing and to my Kleenex and all that. I am fighting a cold, and I have to tell you, I have my aroma, my diffuser going with um, my aromatherapy down here because it is what has helped me sleep because I it follows me around the house. I'm in my home office right now in the basement. If it came down here, I'll take it upstairs, put it next to my bed, and I have it going literally almost 24-7 right now. And um, it is what is helping me breathe and function, even though I have a cold. And no, it's not coronavirus. It's just a cold. Um, mm -hmm. But I know how to handle it and tackle it. So I, I want to thank everyone who is watching this, uh, whether you're seeing it on our YouTube channel, social media somehow, or from the You Define Wellness website. And if you're at the You Define Wellness website, well, while you're over there looking up Tracy, go over to the resources tab and uh, connect with our Healthy Living Library. We have more than 100 videos also housed on our YouTube channel. We have over 100 videos there so that you can get that support while you're um, going down your wellness path. And watch these videos, find the topics that are of interest to you and um, reach out to our providers. We offer this as a free service for the community. It's an incredible resource with over 100 videos. And by the time we get through the end of this month, we'll probably be close to 200 because we are packing it with helpful hints and tips from our independent health and wellness pro professionals who are in our network who just want to serve the community and help you live happy, healthy, and thriving lives. So that being said, Tracy, thank you very much for doing this today. I really appreciate it. Patricia, thanks for joining in on us as well. 
And we hope to see everyone on one of our other videos real soon. Thank you.